Hello YouTube, this is Everything Epan here back with another video tutorial. Today we are going to be installing Windows XP Home Edition in VMware. Now this is going to be the Service Pack 1 ISO since the newer ones require you to have a previous version of Windows installed, whether that be the Service Pack 1 of XP Home Edition or XP Professional or Windows 2000 or something like that. We're going to use the Service Pack 1 ISO, which is going to include having the green bar on the bottom, and you'll, t you'll know what I'm talking about once we get further into the setup here. So let's go ahead and get straight into the tutorial here. Now, there's going to be three links in the description, one being VMware, one being WinRAR, and one being the ISO for Windows XP Home Edition, and that's going to include the product key as well. So we're going to go up to File in VMware here and click New Virtual Machine, and then we're just going to do this typical setup and click Next, and then it's automatically detected my ISO since I've selected it already. Um, but you would browse for your ISO and it will automatically detect it as Windows XP Home Edition. So go ahead and click Next, and now it's going to ask for this product key. I'm going to change this real quick to everything EPAN, and I'm going to go ahead and type that in now, but there will also be with the ISO in the description uh, from the link in the description of the video and I'm doing it just in case I mean, if you want to read it off the screen but if you can't it's going to be with the ISO so click next after doing that and then just leave it as Windows XP home edition and I'm actually going to save this into a different folder so click OK and then uh, click next after doing this and then you can bump this down to 10 gigabytes. We're going to store this as a single file and click next and then go ahead and click finish and it's going to automatically power on the virtual machine. So we're going to make this full screen here and it's going to boot up the virtual machine here and it's going to load up all the necessary files It'll say setup is starting Windows. And then it's automatically going to format your virtual drive for you. You do not have to do anything. That's what's the benefit of easy install with VMware is that it does not make you do a single thing in the setup. It's going to do it all by itself and you'll be up and running very quickly here. So it's going to copy over the files here and that will not take very long at all. So I'm going to let this run really quick and I'll pause this for you guys and I'll be back once we hit the uh, GUI interface part of the setup. So here we are with the first reboot here and you see it says Windows XP Home Edition and you saw that green loading bar on the bottom. That was part of the first service packs of the operating system. They eventually changed it to blue. Uh, but here we are into the GUI interface of this and uh, it's going to do this all for you so you will not have to do a single thing like I said previously so basically all you really have to do is just let this sit and it's going to install and then restart once maybe I don't think it's twice it's only once so it's gonna to go to installing devices you know just like the normal XP setup and then after that it will go to copying files and uh, finalizing everything and so this will not take you that long it's not gonna take 36 minutes uh, that was just how long it took back in the day um, but now with newer hardware it will not take as long so uh, just let this go and it will finish for you and usually there's a window that pops up when it gets to 33 minutes but I think because of the easy install method that they're doing with this it will not pop up here so do not worry if that happens where no windows pop up or anything like that so and if it sits like this don't worry about it either so I'm gonna let this run really quick and 
I'll come back to you guys once we hit our next restart point, but just let this sit and it will all install for you. So um, just let this run and I will be back with you guys once we hit the first restart point. And if I guess there's two product keys with the uh, in the text file. So if the first one doesn't work, then try the second one. And if the second one does not work, then I will have to replace the product key here. I, I had a feeling that the first one doesn't gonna work because I remember trying it earlier and it wasn't going to work. So let's see here if this one works. Okay, so the second one works. So I'm gonna delete, uh, so just completely ignore the first product key that's in the text file and use the second one. That will work. So I'm gonna pause this and I'll be back once we hit the next restart point. So here we are on the next restart point and it's going to load up into the next part of the setup here. And do not worry if it's not doing anything. Your mouse is still moving, so it's trying to do something. It's not fast as it should be, but it's doing it automatically, so it should you should not have to do anything. Um, so do not worry at all if it's not displaying anything at first. So just let it sit for a little bit, and it will pop up the logon screen and it will automatically log you in and I think it will automatically install VMware tools as well so that's going to install graphics drivers and stuff like that in order to uh, make the screen resolution bigger and all that stuff so just let this sit for a little bit and VMware tools will start to install so I will be back with you guys once we restart again and we're back into the desktop with full resolution Okay, so I do apologize, it does not automatically install VMware tools, um, but you've successfully installed Windows XP Home Edition in VMware. So thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I'll leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a comment down below for future uh, ideas that you guys want me to try and do for future tutorials, and don't forget to subscribe. Once again, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.